All right, guys, so welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption video. Uh, it's been 14 years, guys. I think I got this game when it first came out, and uh, what was it? Let's look it up real quick. So, 2010. 2010. Two thousand ten, so fourteen years ago, guys. So uh and it looks pretty good for a fourteen year old game. I'm excited. I am so excited. I haven't played uh Red Dead Two. Well I I lied. I have played it, but I've only played it like an eighth of the way through because um uh, I started playing it and I think I just got like bored. So, I didn't play it all the way through. Uh, but we will do that. We will do that after this one. I wanted to give this one a play, and then play the next one. Part 2. But uh, I hope you guys are enjoying. And we are on the way to 500 subscribers, guys. So, I think I'm at 353 right now. And you guys can help me get to that goal of 500 by hitting the red button down below the subscribe button and you can help me out by watching the videos all the way through or just you know watch all the videos all the way through <laughs> yeah but that helps me out a lot guys we're trying to uh build this channel up with the quickness and uh, you guys can do that for me but i hope you guys enjoy the content Old John Marston. Back at it again, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and also, uh, if you grew up in this era, would you be a outlaw or would you be a good citizen? Let me know down below in the comments. Um, I, I don't know. I, I think I would, uh, I think I would have had a gang back then been in a gang. Gained access to heaven. Father, or a protector of myself, because I imagine you had to do a lot of protecting of yourself uh, and family back in them what days. They just say, roll up on you and take so whatever you got. There's a deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals. But they're happier now. Oh. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. That was them damn right, brothers. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family hmm. without class. Apparently, the John's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. Oh, and I'm probably not going to play the whole game all the way through in one you video. I'm going to do little we have been short episodes, 15, 20 word. minutes, 30 and minutes the word max. And civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. <sighs> It, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, 
Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. I hope you guys Armadillo. can hear it. All right, here we are in Armadillo. Go to the saloon. To run, hold A. To sprint, quickly tap A. I think it's the same way on the horse as well, guys. I'm pretty sure. I remember correctly. Look at this drunk fella right here. Oops, oops. Did you, did you... Scrape your nose. <laughs> That's funny. You got it there, bud? You need some help? Let me help you. <laughs> That's funny. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends. They're pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. <laughs> Follow Jake to the horses. Excuse me. How you doing? I thought you was in a hurry to get to the fort. Well, here, uh, let's mount up and hit the trail. Take it slow on the way out of town. No need to kick up a lot of dust. Whoa! Come on, easy up now. You don't mind me saying. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kinds of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I, I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I says, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find are about as sociable as most three to back to. <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. But guys, just take a look at this, I mean, for a 14-year-old gang. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, Looks if super you're good. fixing for some female company, they did it you right. can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Steve's Landon. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> <laughs> ain't we all? <laughs> Some things just yeah. don't change. Oh, it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guy. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. You ain't very talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me, there's things you're better off not knowing. I'll tell you, Mr. Marston, those coyotes eat better than I do. <laughs> Almost 
there, Mr. Marshall, just over this hill. Okay. <clears throat> Listen, mister, this here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Mm. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. Take a little screenshot for thumbnail, guys. A thumbnail. Bill, I've come for you. Bill Williamson. Come out here right now. Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Oh, Nobody needs to kill anyone, snap. Bill. Here we go, guys. Already, already some trouble. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! He implores. <laughs> I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... <laughs> Ow. Oh. That hurt. <laughs> What's that? A 30 30? Yeah, 30 30 it looked like. That hurt. I don't know if you guys know how big a 30 30 slug leaves, but it's pretty it's pretty big. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing Seeking revenge. Well, you'll be okay. <laughs> Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. 
Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. All right, so let's head over to Bonnie and see. Yeah, join Bonnie. Let's go over there and earn some of that. Uh, we'll pay some of our debt back. Mr. Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. All right. Let's head over there. Oh, sorry. Oh. I guess we're going over here to the horses. I was trying to match B to, to look at her. It's also where the we stock lock up good for nothing outlaws such as yourself. I'm happy enough with But it was trying to focus right on now, her, I guess. Pop on up. He won't bite. Come on then. I'll show you around the property. Take a little screenshot. For a thumbnail. Figured that one's a cool one there too. To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but. It certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished, bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. No complaint from me, Miss McFarland. Hey, how's it going? Well, are we going inside? <sighs> How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston.
Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. Absolutely. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. We'd best get moving. This is a dangerous time of night for us. Let's go. Keep your eyes open and try not to get yourself shot again. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. I don't believe it. Those damn rabbits are back. Give me a hand with them, will you? Whoa! Oh, there they are. Let's see that rifle. I want a couple of these for the pop. Nice shooting! Good shot! We got one! I can already smell that rabbit stew. Much obliged for the help. Them rabbits can be wily little critters. Let's mount up and patrol the rest of the property. I believe we can feed our horse as well, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, so we we need to get some consumables. I think like apples or something would be efficient enough for our horse. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can feed them. If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city. Become a lady of leisure. Look out! Coyote! Shoot him before they get to the animals! Hurry! I'll get this horse straight to the chicken! Come on! Yeah, my horse got jammed up on the side of the building for some reason. A little glitchy. You know, you can or I just don't know what I'm doing. It's something I've had a little experience in. <laughs> Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever oh, we Oh, we gotta call him Bonnie. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. Marston. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarland. Gonna be some ladies coming out on the Pacific Union, I hear. Or you can sleep in the bed in your room. Uh, six hours later so jumps you six hours later when you do that you can also pick up extra ammo from the trunk in the, your room uh, have... ten and seven all right so let's save so we can go see Bonnie again. That should bring us to like morning time. 
I think I'm going to save it in a new slot. Yes. That way, if I ever want to come back to it, I can. <clears throat> I doubt that would happen, but you never know. Uh, let's see what time it is. It's almost six. Uh, we may be able to see her. Mr. Marston, how are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. All right, guys, I think we're about to clear our debt right, with Bonnie. These parts. Maybe. <laughs> if I can remember Come on, boy. how to do this. Yeah. yeah, so let's just double tap, I believe. Double tap A and then the just let your, your indicator three, on the side. Two, I think it's one. blue. Build Go. back up. I trust you're not going to be a gentleman about this. You don't know me at yep, all, Miss That's how it is. It's all coming back, guys. That's more like it. Oh, yeah. Got yeah. you, Bonnie. Come on. Watch and learn, Miss. I wait for you to catch up. Should I, guys? Wait Let's for it. Are you saving the best for last? I'm pretty sure I'm yeah. gonna mess up. I almost yeah. did. This is gonna be close. Oh shit! Why don't I lead the way? Come on. How you doing back there? I bet you're starting to regret your brave words, Miss McFarland. Would you like me to slow down? Let's go.
Oh, crap. Come on. I think you chose the wrong horse, Mr. McFarland. Got her. Nope, that wasn't Jingle good, guys. Bird, this is it. Alright, I should have probably let her win, guys. But, uh, I needed to pay that debt off. That was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. All right, guys, it's been 31 minutes. I um, think I'm going to end the video here, guys. But if you've been enjoying the content, guys, and you stuck around this long, go ahead and sub to the channel. And hit that like button for you, boy. And maybe even also turn that notification on so you don't miss out on this ep these episodes. Uh, but I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.